In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some cool modeling add-ons developed by Mark Kingsnorth, who has several amazing add-ons worth checking out if you want to take your modeling game to the next level. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, we have Conform Object, which is an add-on that handles the complexity of wrapping objects onto another one, I mean another object surface, in a few actions in a non-destructive way. I think this is seriously one of the most annoying problems that you will face in different modeling projects, and you will always feel that doing it manually is kind of wrong and not precise enough, but Conform Object is gonna help. It has a set of helpful features, like a simple right-click menu option that performs the operations on the go. You can also graduate the effect from the bottom to the top of the object, and the ability to undo and apply options to handle the underlying complexity of adding and removing modifiers. I would also add, you also have the ability to do conforms of multiple objects at once, and you have a preset system to save your preferred settings. In addition to that, the add-on has an option to choose between two modes, which are grid mode and shrink wrap mode. Next we have shape generator, and this one lets you generate shapes with different styles. So these generated shapes can work as an inspiration for you to start working on the final model because you can take that generated abstract model and edit it or sculpt it to fine tune it and get a high quality model. To be honest, sometimes you don't feel like starting something because creating something from nothing is I think the hardest part. But with this add-on, you can skip that part and use the ideas and the shapes it generates. The way to use the add-on is easy and simple. We need first to specify a random number to start creating a shape that you can choose a range of length, scale and rotation of the resulting extrusions. And after that, you will have a set of controls that allow you to further customize the generated shape. Later on, that shape can have a subdivision surface modifier or a bevel modifier applied to it to create various effects. You can also decide whether the shape should be mirrored in the X, Y or the Z axis. Additionally, you can choose whether the algorithm favors the X, Y or Z direction to produce flatter shapes and you can also change the overall profile of the shapes using the scaling and rotation options. Moving on, we have a very interesting add-on called Plating Generator and Greebles. Similar to the previous add-on, this one also enables you to generate shapes, but this one creates paneling patterns rather than random shapes. It kind of works similar to the random flow add-on. But what makes this add-on special is that you can choose objects that you like and scatter them on the surface of an object. You can then adjust the depth of the grooves, the height of the panels, and the thickness of the grooves using this add-on's cool features, which lets you customize how the generated shapes look. For instance, you can make the corners rounded and add a bevel effect, and you can have the option to add your own materials and different colors for the panels through vertex colors. The add-on works well especially if it is paired with the shape generator add-on because you can quickly create detailed models which can be then further refined using Blender's interesting tools. Talking about interesting tools, check out this cool add-on that will completely change how you usually extrude objects. This add-on is called Twisted Extrude and it lets you extrude faces and then easily twist them, allowing you to create completely new shapes very quickly. You can also create curved extrusion, which will help you quickly create curved geometry like pipes, tendrils, and more abstract effects. Additionally, the Twisted Extrude add-on is very easy to use and it has an interactive interface and the menu allows you to adjust the parameters until you have the results that you want. And the best part is, this add-on lets you animate the effect using the Free Blender add-on animation nodes, which is really cool. But you know what else is cool? I'm talking about Zigzag Extrude. It is an add-on somewhat similar to the previous one because it also adds an effect to extruded faces, but this one lets you create a jagged extrusion effect which will be useful for quickly creating pipes, steps, ribbed patterns, or more abstract effects just like the previous add-on. From what I can see, it is really useful. and lets you control the number of steps in the extrusion in addition to the depth and thickness of the cuts, which will help you have a variety of effects. And if you need more variation, you can add some randomness to the step thickness. 
Next, we have an add-on that, in my humble opinion, should be on every artist's list, especially architects, interior designers, even concept artists, or if you model stuff in general. Perspective Plotter allows you to match a 2D image or sketch perspective to 3D. Using the add-on by matching perspective lines, it allows you to effortlessly set up camera's focal length and camera's location and position in the scene in real time. The add-on works very much like the free standalone application FSpy. If you ever used FSpy before, then the functionality of this add-on is the same with the added benefit of being directly inside Blender, which is really useful. So you don't have to export anything from FSpy and import it back in Blender, which is the case when using FSpy. The add-on is obviously tailored more to a modeler or an ArcVis artist, but I think this can also be extremely helpful for VFX artists sometimes when you want to perfect a camera map where the scene texture is overlaid from the camera perspective and looks cached if you look at the scene from a different angle. It also helps when modeling too. If you ever seen one of those Ian Hooper style modeling videos where he uses 2D images to create different 3D models, you will realize that the hardest thing is to match the camera perspective. And it is even cooler that the developer at the end included and referenced the free software AppSpy and link to download the free version. So if you want to try AppSpy, you can do that too. But if you want something inside Blender with high quality and can do the job perfectly, then Perspective Plotter is just for you. Next, we have Mesh Materializer. This one seems kind of hard to understand and seems out of place, especially for this video. But if you look into it, you will find it really useful for many reasons. First, Mesh Materializer allows you to wrap objects around another object based on its UV texture map coordinates. Okay, that didn't actually make much sense, so let's try again. Imagine if you have two objects and one needed to be wrapped around the other. The add-on allows you to simply select the pattern and the object and apply Mesh Materializer, which allows you to wrap the first mesh onto the second one in a really simple way. And this makes it similar to a conform object. But the story does not stop there. You can go ahead on the modifier tab and adjust rotation, offset, and control exactly how the wrap is happening. Also, a prerequisite for this to work properly is to have adequate UV mapping, as the overlapping between the two UV maps is what's driving the projection. But if done correctly, this could be a huge time saver, especially for a non-usual modeling stuff, like wrapping a thread on a rope around a weird sharp object or putting something on a piece of clothing, or something like that. But you know what's even more impressive? We are less than 30,000 subscribers away from smashing the 300,000 barrier, so hit that like button and subscribe so we can hit the milestone together before the end of the year. With that out of the way, the next add-on on this list is called Curves to Mesh. It allows you to draw curves, manipulate them, connect them to each other, and subdivide them however you want, and once you're happy with the design, you can turn them to meshes. This add-on is great for people who need to create precise curvature and have a level of control that you can find in CAD software. The add-on also offers multiple conversion methods, and the latest version even introduces animation nodes, where you can animate the curves using animation nodes add-on, which can be very useful. So guys, if you found this add-on useful, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.